Peter Delpenny here with USA Under-19 Captain Joshua Kind after another resounding victory, eight wicket win over Argentina here at the Under-19 World Cup qualifier in King City. Congratulations. Thank you. Ten wickets, nine wickets, eight wickets. Pretty comfortable margins. Just discussed with Sanjay Stanley about what went into the decision at the toss today because you've had those two whopping victories. A lot of guys haven't gotten a chance to bat. There was some discussion with some people back home in the U.S. and even some people here about what would USA do. Guys obviously wanting a chance to get some time in the middle, but also the weather was a major consideration today, which a lot of people back home may not be aware of. There were thunderstorms forecast really from the morning, and the forecast got pushed back until around 2 or 3 o'clock. So how much of a factor was that taken into consideration what to do with the toss? I think the weather was a factor as well, but as to the not everyone getting a chance to bat, we considered that a little, little bit, but everyone here knows the situation we're in. And honestly, I don't think anyone inside the team had any complaints with bowling first. It, w it was just better for us, we felt, to keep our net run rate high in case weather comes later in the weekend uh, against Canada. But I think we, we, we were all happy to go in and bowl first and just do the same thing. Uh, keep the confidence up and we know with the talent we have in this team that we can go in and bat as to our full potential in Canada. What has it been like for you as captain of the side? I spoke to you before the tournament was already said it was a big honor for you getting a chance and you said you were even caught off guard a little bit, weren't expecting necessarily to be nominated by the coach. But here you are, 3-0 and as captain. First ball face in the tournament, hit for four, smoking it through the offside. Had a couple of wickets as well in the first couple of matches. So whether it's just leading the team in general or your own personal performances, how would you evaluate how the week has gone for you? I couldn't have asked it to go better, honestly. I stand in here 3-0 with one game left to go to the World Cup. I think we're in a great situation as a team. And with everyone in the team, it's hard to make a wrong decision being captain just because everywhere I look there's talents and players who are willing to do what the team needs. So uh, in that case it's been very easy for me as well and all the coaches and supporting staff have been talking me through everything I need. So it's been, it's been an honour like I said. I've enjoyed every step of it and I'm really glad I'm standing here doing that. Uh, it's been, couldn't have asked for it to start any better. You've had a lot of support within the squad and within the team. You've also got a lot of support on the boundary and beyond the boundary, watching the stream around the world. Your parents are here. You've got your younger brother here. You've got an also older brother watching back in Kansas City. And I've been told you've got people back in South Africa watching from Cape Town to the East Coast all around the country. Seeing your progress and seeing you represent USA, what does it mean to you to, to have that kind of support both here in person and getting the feedback from your relatives back in South Africa? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that. I think along the journey of moving here from South Africa and then even starting to play cricket here, yeah, they've been with me every step of the way, my family, my friends, and then everyone back in South Africa. So I think they've, they've really made it worthwhile. And then being able to play here knowing that, they, that they're watching, it's, it's such a blessing. I know, yeah, I've just really enjoyed it. They mean the world to me. So I'm just so grateful that they're able to watch and their support means everything. Now you've got two days off before the Canada match. Canada takes on Cayman Islands tomorrow. What is the preparation plan like in terms of scouting them? Do you or a lot of the other players intend to come and watch them to get a chance to, to scout them a little bit more? And what is the overall mindset in terms of coming in to face a team who traditionally has had USA's number at these tournaments? It's not since 2010, obviously, that USA has qualified for the World Cup and Canada has taken that berth from the Americas ever since then so you're going up against history on Sunday what is the outlook mentally and what's the approach like for for the next two days heading into that encounter I think mentally we're all in a good uh, good place we've been preparing I think for this match in particular for as long as we've been together as a team if this is what it's come down to schedule wise to make it so we're all focused I've said it many times we definitely have what it takes as as a team uh, to win this match so 
I know we can, so we're all focused, know what we need to do. Um, we're ready for it. And then preparation-wise, I think we're just going to rest, stay focused, and then we'll see what happens from there. What do you think will be the number one difference maker on Sunday in terms of who finishes on top in that match? I think basics is what we're going after. If we just stick to the basics and do half of what we know we can do, uh, then we should be able to go out and put a very good performance out there, um, which I have no doubt will be more than enough, knowing all we've done, the preparation that we've gone through. Anything else you want to say about today's performance or the other two victories as a whole, taking you guys to 3-0? No, nah, I'm happy we're with where we're at, I can ask to be standing in a better position right now as a team. So just looking forward to going into the last game and I think finishing the statement that we came here to make. What would it mean to you personally as somebody who grew up in South Africa, now representing USA, but again, you've got a lot of relatives still back in South Africa to qualify for an under-19 World Cup that's going to be held in South Africa. Yeah. For you personally, what would it mean to you and your family to, to be able to take USA back to South Africa next year? I think regardless of the location, qualifying for a World Cup is something that you can only dream of. So to be standing here, it, it's amazing. I still don't think I've fully wrapped my head around it. But then even more so to be in South Africa and go back to like the stadiums I watch the professional teams playing. It's, it's been a dream of mine ever since I can remember. So it would mean, it would mean the world. I think that's why we're here as a team. And then for me, just trying to do all I can to get us there.